The Duchess of Sussex made a huge political leap after penning a letter to Congress. Meghan, who welcomed a daughter Lilibet Diana in June, acknowledged how her and Harry were not confronted with the harsh reality and impossible choices other parents suffer. In her plea for paid leave, Meghan said it should be a national right like many other countries. She said, paid leave should be a national right, rather than a patchwork option limited to those whose employers have policies in place, or those who live in one of the few states where a leave program exists. If we're going to create a new era of family-first policies, let's make sure that includes a strong paid leave program for every American that's guaranteed, accessible, and encouraged without stigma or penalty. I know how politically charged things can, and have, become. But this isn't about right or left, it's about right or wrong. However, when signing off, she left her husband to the end of the list. She concluded, so, on behalf of my family, Archie and Lily and Harry, I thank you for considering this letter, and on behalf of all families, I ask you to ensure this consequential moment is not lost. Another news, Prince Harry's decision to snub Princess Diana's memorial is a huge blow after Meghan Markle's personal attack against Kate, a royal expert has claimed. Royal expert Duncan Larkham believes that Harry would have been sorely missed and said it is very sad that he didn't attend the event. The author of Prince Harry, The Inside Story said, Obviously he lives a long way away now and we've still got travel restrictions but it's entirely possible for him to fly back to the UK, as he showed in July for the unveiling of the statue. Both of Diana's sons should be there. Unfortunately, it's just further confirmation, not that another is needed, that things are not great between the brothers. If their mother's legacy can't bring them together then you do wonder what on earth can. He said that it will be interesting to see if William will thank donors on Harry's behalf at the event. He added, he, will have, thanked people for being there on behalf of him and his brother. We'll have to wait until we know what William, has said, before we can draw conclusions about whether the rift has deepened. It's very easy to forget just how personal the attack on Oprah was against Kate, he says. William is understandably very protective of Kate and let's not forget that Meghan directly accused Kate of making her cry rather than the other way round. He added, she then accused Kate of briefing journalists against her, or at least not clarifying the truth of the story, when actually it's a very strong allegation to make publicly. Between two members of the royal family it's almost unheard of. The only other royal who's done that is Diana when she was publicly attacking her husband. The reality is that Diana's memorial party is another opportunity missed for the two brothers to get together. One excited social media user dubbed Prince William their king after the announcement his Earthshot Prize Award ceremony will take place in the States in 2022. There was an outpouring of excitement on social media, with one Twitter user saying, The success of tonight's event was complete evidence that Prince William not only delivers but his power especially with the discussion he sparked about space tourism and all the support he got. Next year. William coming to USA like a king, they added. Another user praised the future king for his role representing Britain, saying, You know it's a good day when both the Cambridges have engagements. They are always representing the crown and their country in the best possible way. A third tweeted, Just picturing it now how many celebs and politicians will want to be part of hashtag Earthshot next year in the US. The prince announced that the US would be next to host the awards during his speech at the inaugural Earthshot Prize Awards ceremony last weekend. He said, I hope you agree that London and the UK has put on quite a show for our first year. So for the second year, we need to pass the baton to a country whose leadership is essential for all five of our Earth shots. We're better than the nation that inspired the moonshot all those years ago. I'm delighted to announce that the Earthshot Prize will be heading to the United States of America in 2022. No guests were flown in for the UK Earthshot Awards ceremony, in order to keep the event as eco-friendly as possible. Therefore it is likely that the U.S. ceremony would form part of a royal tour. The palace is yet to confirm where in the U.S. the ceremony would be held. U.S. fans reacted to the news when a recent poll found Meghan and Harry's popularity has been waning. Last month the YouGov poll found 63% of U.S. respondents viewed Kate Vary or somewhat favorably, as opposed to Meghan, who only claimed 57% on the same front. Meanwhile, Prince William notched up 66%, surpassing Harry on 62%. The Duke and Duchess of Cambridge last visited the United States on a trip to New York in December 2014, when the Duchess was pregnant with Princess Charlotte. They also previously visited California at the end of a tour to Canada in 2011.